Hey everyone, welcome to Medication Monday. This is where we go over a different EMT drug that we administer out in the field. We do it specifically in EMT drug card format. As always, follow your local protocol and scope of practice. Today's medication is called acetaminophen, and acetaminophen is more commonly known out in the EMS field and also the world in general as Tylenol. Tylenol is an analgesic and an antipyretic. It inhibits the prostaglandin synthesis in the central nervous system, and it is also thought to block the pain impulse generation. Your indication is going to be fever in pediatric patients or pediatric patients that just had febrile seizures that are alert enough to swallow. Before we get into dosages, please, as always, abide by your local protocol and scope of practice. So this is specifically for our pediatric patient population and it's going to be 10 to 15 milligrams per kilogram given orally. And depending on what your protocol is, I've seen some protocols say don't exceed 650 milligrams per dose and don't go over five doses. Um, but I've also seen protocols say 4,000 milligrams per day at most max. So just make sure you abide by whatever your protocol says. Your contraindications for Tylenol are going to be hypersensitivity, hepatic, failure or impairment, and severe renal impairment. Adverse reactions can include nausea, stomach pain, the yellowing of the skin um, and eyes or jaundice, vomiting, headache, and there's several different concentrations or ways that it's supplied, but the most common one I've seen is the 60 milliliter bottle of oral suspension and the concentration 160 milligrams per 5 milliliter. Okay, a few side notes about acetaminophen. Just be aware that several medications, over-the-counter medications and prescription medications do include acetaminophen. Tylenol overdoses are a real thing, so make sure to ask what the patient has taken today or if they've already administered Tylenol. Tylenol does interact with phenothiazines and can cause hypothermia. It can also interact with your phenobarbitals and increase hepatic toxicity. Acetaminophen can be given after a febrile seizure, but you just have to remember that the patient cannot be postictal. They're going to have to be able to swallow. So as we know, it's given liquid or or orally, so draw it up in a syringe and the patient has to be alert enough that if we put this into their mouth, they're going to swallow it. Remember to abide by your local protocol and scope of practice. This is purely informational for those in the EMS field and never meant to be used in the place of local protocol or formal education. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you next Monday. Bye!